Hey guys, welcome to another AEG tune-up video. In this video, we are looking over Sleazy Company's SEMA SVD to see if we can make any improvements or make repairs. He requested me to make sure that this bad boy is getting about 550 FPS on 0.20 gram BBs and then semi-locking it for the Milsim West event that he plans on going to. If you haven't heard of him yet, he is a gameplay airsoft content creator on YouTube. He'll be revealing my work in one of his videos, so be sure to hop on his channel and subscribe so you don't miss on that video. Link will be down in the description below. Stay tuned till the end for the chrono results, so let's get into it. All right, first things first, we're gonna get an amperage test. That way we can uh, compare results at the end of this video. All right, so we're getting a max of 27.9 amps from the battery. Okay, so now let's get to chronoing this guy. We're using 0.2 gram BBs that I sell off of my website, wishtech.com. All right, let's see how she does. All right, man, this, this is a long rifle, I'm not gonna lie. All right, 10 shots, here we go. Okay, so we're getting an average of 528 FPS with a minimum of 517 with a max of 538. FPS is a little inconsistent, but that's to be expected with .2s because this thing should be designed to shoot heavier BBs. So when he goes to use heavier white BBs like .4s, the FPS should get more consistent. Now that we got our baseline results, let's head to the bench and do a disassemble. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, I got all the parts all laid out. Uh, I already contacted the customer, but uh, the piston head is cracked. So we're gonna replace that guy with an EPES piston head. And then uh, we're getting rid of the, the old solid bushings in this guy, and we're going to a more precision, limited lifetime warranty, seven millimeter bushings from FLT. I'm hoping that these will fit in this gearbox tight. And then we're gonna attempt to get this Lonex Spiral pinion and bevel gear installed, then it should make this thing sound really smooth when it cycles. Uh, another thing that I noticed is that it appears that the nozzle has been upgraded on this thing, it has an internal O-ring. It's made out of aluminum, so pretty happy about that. I'm gonna be putting a better O-ring on this cylinder head and to help with the seal and whatnot. Cylinder's pretty decent. Tap it play, it's all right. These gears, there's really no upgrades out there. I already looked. Honestly, I don't think these need to be upgraded because it's fine the way it is. The spring here, uh, looks like uh, the spring was cut previously, but they did it correctly by heating up the end and then collapsing the spring a little bit so it has a flat face right there. So when you put it in the piston, it sits pretty flat. We're gonna stick with the stock piston right here because it's been shooting at that high FPS with no signs of wear on the teeth whatsoever. So I think this is fine for now. So I think the customer shouldn't have any issues. Spring guide is pretty nice. Uh, no upgrades needed there, so it's got the bearing at, at the end to help the spring rotate as it compresses, so that's fine there. So this thing had a pay run AB++, and yes, I snipped off the connector right there because uh, the way that they feed this thing through, I just couldn't get it back out. But anyways, I'm gonna have rewire this guy, 
clean it all up. I'm going to probably put some nice wire sheathing on this guy so that will clean all this loose wiring right up this wire was exposed in the mag well so when the mag was inserted this wire got pinched and the insulation got pulled off so what would happen is is that the gun would randomly fire because this wire right here the skinny one is the payron mosfet's signal wire if this thing gets any voltage the gun shoots but other than that everything else looks pretty damn good so i got a lot of work ahead of me so i'm gonna do this off camera and get done and then i'll show you the end result see you in a little bit okay so before i start actually assembling this whole rifle back together uh, I'm going to show you some things that I did along the way off camera. Starting with the piston, uh, we got the piston head added on. And then one of my friends off of uh, Instagram, shout out to him. He sent me a piston that was milled to fit this gearbox. Had to get a new gear set for this thing because the bevel gear, the axles were bent pretty bad. And you can't just buy the be bevel gear. Had to get the whole set. So uh, all new gears now. Got all the solid bushings in the gearbox. And we got bearings on the back here and the reason why i went with that is because the bevel gear was heating up the solid bushings so once i put these bearings in it made things a lot easier and i'm not too worried about them uh additionally i added this to the wiring to help protect it when he goes to plug in his battery i uh, repaired the the wiring shortened it up and i was able to get rid of that nick in that wire we're gonna put this m160 spring in there because a couple of reasons. The biggest reason why we're putting this new spring in is because we did some AOE correction using these washers right here, as well as a sorbo pad in the back of this cylinder head. Additionally, we're using the tr traditional thrust bearing guy in here so there's no spacer in the piston anymore. So we need that extra length versus the spring that has been shaved off to make up that FPS loss, especially with the area engagement correction. I cleaned everything, got everything all nice and ready to go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start assembling this guy. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So we could test it now. All right, here we go. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, gearbox lockup. So I gotta take it back apart. Fuck. Okay, so I got that issue fixed. What happened was the anti-reversal latch in here was in the wrong direction. So it was keeping the gears from turning. So I fixed that and I actually ended up having to modify the spring that was originally in this thing. So it pushed the anti-reversal latch in the right direction. <laughs> Sleazy Airsoft actually uh, watched me do it and hung out with me while I did it. So I did all that off camera. This is all good to go now. So now I'm gonna show you how it shoots before actually putting the whole rifle together. All right. I barely hear the gears, man. I mean, it's smooth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the whole rifle together with a little magic trick of mine. One, two, voila. It's all back together. And finally, we can get to the chrono and see what this thing gets. So let me ask you something. What FPS is this SVD going to get with 0.20 gram BBs? Comment below. It's chrono time, guys. Let's get this thing chrono out and find out what it should get. Make sure to comment below on what this thing gets in the chrono. Again, we're doing point twos. 10 shots. Oops. Here we go. Oh man, that's a long stretch. And a one, and a two, and a three. Hell yeah. Look at that. That is some good results, man. Woo! Very consistent. That's what point two is, and that's nuts. Okay, let's go compare our results. All right, guys, I've got my amp meter out and we're going to compare the results to from last time to see if uh, our amperage is either the same or got better or worse. All right, here we go. I'm just going to do five shots. Here we go. Right. 
right on 24 amps okay let's talk about what happened we got our baseline fps results uh, average of 528 fps and it remained about the same on the after results after we did all these modifications but what really made the difference was the fps consistency if you look here the min max the minimum was 517 fps and the maximum was 538 which gave it a pretty big spread in difference in fps with 0.2 gram bbs uh, that was on the before tune-up. And then after we did all the tune-up, there was only a 2 FPS spread. So a significant improvement in, in terms of consistency, which is going to give this SVD more accuracy at long range. Additionally, the max amp draw dropped down a little bit too, from 27.9 amps to uh, about 24. So what's your opinion on the results? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, one other thing that I want to point out, uh, if you're working on an SVD, make sure to reverse the polarity of your motor otherwise you'll do make the mistake i made and ruin the piston because the gears will run backwards and take out the bottom of the piston that said remember to subscribe to sleazy company's channel to see the gameplay review of this job thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one take it easy guys bye